हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रैप दिस इज संजय राठी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स फ्रॉम ऑसिलेटर फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक दैट इज सेड्रा एंड स्मिथ ओके तो ये एक सीरीज है जहां पर हम लोग क्वेश्चन डिस्कस कर रहे हैं फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक दैट इज सेड्रा एंड स्मिथ ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नॉट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन ऑसिलेटर लेट मी नो दैट एवरीथिंग इज फाइन यस प्लीज okay then uh remember guys this oscillators means what uh, first of all we are having uh, sinusoidal oscill oscillators like uh, wind bridge oscillator rc phase shift oscillator and then what colpit hartley and what uh, crystal oscillator these are the oscillator what are the what is the barkhsen criteria then and then after that what uh, multi vibrators for example bistable monostable or stable multi vibrator स्क्वायर वेव जनरेटर ट्रैंगुलर वेव जनरेटर एंड वी आर डिजाइनिंग मल्टी वाइब्रेटर बाई यूजिंग नॉर्मली ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर ओके तो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन ऑन बायस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर मोनोस्टेबल अस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर एंड वॉट एज वेल एज ऑन प्रेसिजन रेक्टिफायर दीज ऑल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर ट्वेल्व सिक्स एडिशन ऑफ सेड्रा एंड स्मिथ ओके नाउ so first of all that is my introduction myself sanjay rathi i am having around 23 years of teaching experience i have trained more than 1 lakh students and these are my ranks in engineering services exam okay and if you want to practice for engineering services pre and mains then try to write answer in conventional style for these questions okay you can follow this this is my telegram channel where i will upload the pdf of this session with complete solution so already i have already uh, uploaded the pdf of previous session right and tomorrow i am going to take one session on what diode circuits to so join that and try to solve questions on rectifier clipper clamper voltage doubler precision rectifiers and what clampers by using operational amplifier at the same time 5 pm and this is our result guys in engineering services exam air1 we need and air 9 and 5 aspirants under air 10 29 under 50 and 20, 37 under 100 and you can also get top rank in this exam and anyone can crack this exam but it is important to start your preparation at right time and under right direction if you want to start your journey with us then yes you can start now guys this is a question first question try to give me answer what is the answer for this one everyone try to solve this question if you have any comments then please write here uh, first question very quickly you will get idea consider a sinusoidal oscillator formed of an amplifier with an gain of 2 with an gain of what 2 this is the question number uh, chapter number 12 12.1 the second order band pass filter right amplifier with gain of 2 and second order band pass filter find the pole frequency and center frequency gain of the filter needed to produce sustained oscillation at 1 kilohertz sustained oscillation at 1 kilohertz guys that is the question okay what will be the answer tell me now i am giving you the page number also that is the chapter number 12 from sadran smith and this is the question number 12.1 okay tell me what will be the answer you have to satisfy the bar question criteria only to solve this question yes please now okay tell me then this is a please note the page number also 11 1139 then guys what is the bar question criteria here this is the basic amplifier feedback network we are sampling the signal we are mixing the signal here there is no external input there is output without any input then this is the gain this is the beta this is the feedback signal vf when vf is exactly equal to vi then there is no need to apply any other signal any external signal and uh, oscillation will sustain so what is the criteria when the signal travel from 
A network that is the basic amplifier, beta network and written back at the input. Total phase shift should be multiple of 2 pi. That is 2 and pi, 0, 360 degree and so on. Multiple of 2 pi. Second, mod of A beta should be equal to 1. Mod of A beta should be equal to 1. If the consider a sinusoidal oscillator formed of an amplifier with gain of 2, if it is 2, then mod of A beta should be equal to 1. So, what is the beta is equal to 1 by A, that is what 0.5. Beta is equal to 0.5. Second, so what is this center frequency gain of the filter needed to produce sustained oscillation is 1 kilohertz. And now, the pole frequency should be what? The, uh, the pole frequency of the bandpass filter should be equal to what that oscillation frequency. So, at which frequency we are getting the oscillation that that is equal to what uh, we want the frequency at 1 kilohertz then that is why the pole frequency should be equal to what 1 kilohertz that is the answer. So, uh, in any oscillators we have to find two things. What is the frequency of oscillation and then second important thing what is the condition for oscillation. Okay, so frequency of oscillation and condition for oscillation, these are the two things required in any question, uh, that is os oscillator, okay. So this is the answer, the pole frequency is 1 kilohertz and beta is equal to 0.5. Then next question, okay, number of uh, topics like wind bridge oscillator, so already I, today I have solved question from wind bridge oscillator i will give you the standard condition for wind bridge oscillator here and you can find number of questions on wind bridge oscillator formula based question in same uh, same chapter and questions based on what rc phase shift oscillator by using vjt by using opm by using fet and crystal oscillator that is a question on crystal oscillator 2 megahertz quartz crystal is specified to have l is equal to 0.52 henry CS is equal to 0 0.012 picofarad, CP is equal to 4, uh, 4 picofarad, R is equal to 120 ohm, find FS, FP and Q. FS is called series resonance frequency, FP is called what, right, FP is equal to, is what, uh, FP, parallel resonance frequency in Q is called what, quality factor. Now, what is the crystal oscillator? For example, we are connecting like this. This is a crystal oscillator. This is anode. That is cathode. And this is a quartz crystal. There may be MSQ on this. So, remember, this is called what? Uh, quartz crystal. It works on piezoelectric effect. Then, when we are giving the stress, it will vibrate here. So, what is the piezoelectric field? That is the simply, so it will produce a voltage here. So, simple, when we are giving the stress, voltage will develop across the crystal. And when we are applying the voltage, then it will vibrate along the axis. Then, the frequency of oscillation is highly stable. So, what is the equivalent circuit of that crystal? R inductor and what capacitor this is r l this is called series as r this is the capacitance then this is anode and that is cathode this is the r l n c s r represent the viscous damping means internal losses l represent mass and c s represent the right one by spring constant right now because we are connecting the two plates, anode and cathode, in between there will be a capacitance. So, we have to connect a capacitance here. That capacitance is called parallel capacitance or C0, that is what 4 picofarad. Now, what is the series resonance frequency Fs? Series resonance frequency means when R, Ls and Cs are in series, Fs. So, what is the value of the Fs here? Now you can find the Fs, Fs is given by 1 by 2 pi, everyone calculate this value, LSCS, this is the inductor, what is the value of the inductor, 0.52 Henry, CS is 0 0.012 picofarad, you can put here, 
एल एस पॉइंट फाइव टू इंटू सी एस इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस ट्वेल्व पी को फैलाने में और यू कैन फाइंड द एफ एस देन वॉट इज द एफ पी एफ पी वी आर हैविंग वन बाई टू पाई रूट ओवर एल सी इक्वेलेंट हियर द सी इक्वेलेंट इज सी एस सी पी अपॉन सी एस प्लस सी पी सी एस सी पी अपॉन सी एस प्लस सी पी एंड दिस सी इक्वेलेंट इज लेस देन दिस सी दिस इज द वैल्यू इज लेस देन दैट सी एस ओके तो वी आर हैविंग द फोर पी को फर आउट पैरल विथ पॉइंट जीरो वन टू पॉइंट जीरो वन टू इन टू फोर अपॉन पॉइंट जीरो वन टू प्लस फोर इट इज लेस देन वॉट पॉइंट जीरो वन टू यू कैन फाइंड दिस वैल्यू एंड फ्रॉम दिस पुट हियर and you will find the value of what fp that is called parallel resonance frequency guys right parallel resonance yes there are two resonant frequency one is called what series resonance frequency and another one is called parallel resonance frequency so what uh, what is the answer please everyone tell me so this is the question number watch this 12.11 12.11 now tell me what is the answer quickly right so there is not a huge difference guys not a huge difference why because uh, when we are finding the parallel combination of this it is nearly equal to what 0.012 but less than cs and that's why fp is greater than fs basic concept is fp is greater than fs fs because why c equivalent is less than cs it is in denominator therefore fp is greater than fs so in case of crystal oscillator we are having the series resonance so what is the meaning of the series resonance the frequency where we are getting minimum resistance minimum impedance and frequency where we are getting maximum impedance is called parallel resonance frequency no 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 that is not the case ankit that is not the case i am saying now what is the meaning of this series resonance when we are saying that is the series resonance means we are not considering this capacitor remove this capacitor okay remove this capacitor and consider rlc r l and c that is in series not consider the capacitance because of this anode and cathode plate then we are having this resonance frequency right but when we are considering it then we have to find the maximum impedance series resonance frequency means minimum impedance parallel resonance frequency mean maximum impedance so you have to find the impedance then maximize it that will be the case okay so that is the case yes that's why i have considered this question so this is the i am not talking about the series uh, or parallel connection of the capacitor i am just talking about the parallel resonance frequency and series resonance frequency at the series resonance frequency you will get minimum impedance and at parallel resonance frequency you will get maximum impedance maximum impedance okay now your doubt is in one but watch this when we are plotting this actually what is the impedance because of this because of the capacitor 1 by 2 pi f c okay that is the impedance now watch this this is the series resonance so this is the impedance exactly at series resonance we are having the minimum impedance and parallel resonance we are having the maximum impedance that is this type of curve we are getting this is the maximum impedance and fp is greater than what fs and frequency of oscillation will lies between these two always and that, that there is not a huge difference between fs and fp so what is the fs you will find a 2.015 please check my calculation 2.015 i am getting from this 2.015 fs megahertz 
and here it is uh, this is given as 2.018 2.018 mega hertz find the c equivalent remember this question is very very important one crystal oscillator that l c equivalent lsc equivalent and now watch 2.015 and 2.018 mega hertz and this is a radio frequency oscillator means high frequency oscillator at this point 2.015 2.018 megahertz and the frequency of oscillation lies between these two means that what is the frequency of oscillation it is in the range of what megahertz okay means it is a radio frequency oscillator high frequency oscillator wind bridge oscillator or what uh, rc phase shift oscillators are what uh, audio frequency oscillator means low frequency oscillator Crystal oscillator, clap oscillator, Hartley oscillator are what high frequency oscillator and frequency stability is what very 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 high for this guys. So very high frequency and then is it clear any doubt in this question any doubt in this question guys yes please. Okay, and you can find series resonance frequency. You can find already we have found the series resonance frequency, and then from where you can find what uh, quality factor. Use this formula: omega naught L by R. Omega naught L by R, guys. Use this. So omega naught. Uh, you can find that is uh, this is fs is given series resonance circuit from this you can find the omega naught and then l it is given r is given you can find the quality factor and quality factor in uh, for crystal oscillator is very very high that's why the frequency stability is very high for crystal oscillator but what is the disadvantage of that it is a fixed frequency type oscillator we can't change the frequency because it depends upon the thickness of the crystal. The mainly it is depends upon the thickness. It is inversely proportional to thickness. Uh, more will be the thickness, less will be the frequency. Less will be the thickness, more will be the frequency. But when we are decreasing the thickness of the crystal, uh, what will happen? It will become what? Mechanically very weak. So when we are decreasing the thickness, frequency of oscillation will increase. But it is uh, uh, up to certain limit, we can't reduce it. So we are getting the frequency in the range of this mega hertz. So this is a highly stable, highly stable because quality factor is very, very high. R is given. You have the omega naught L by R that will give you the frequency of, oh uh, sorry, quality factor. Okay. Then this question is over. So this type of questions. Now watch this. Next question. Next question. Ah. Uh, from again from Sedran Smith, the operational amplifier in the bistable circuit has a output saturation voltage of plus minus 13 volt. Plus V set minus V set. Design the circuit to obtain threshold voltage of plus minus 5 volt. For R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohm, find the value required for R2. That is the question. Design the circuit means you have to find the value of R2 only. You have to value. Find the value of R2. That is the diagram. That is the diagram from the book. Then tell me, this is the R2, that is the R1. This is the positive terminal voltage, that is the negative terminal voltage. Watch this, there is a negative feedback. Sorry, there is a positive feedback. An input is connected to what? Inverting terminal. Okay. Means it is a, just like what? Bi-stable multi vibrator. It is just like what? Symmet trigger, yes or no? It is a symmet trigger. Suppose I am changing the orientation, then it will become a symmetric trigger circuit. This is R1, this is R2, this is VI. And what is the supply here? 13 minus 13. This is given in the question. Okay, yes, VR is 0. So, what are the upper threshold level and lower threshold level? 
तो ये अपर थ्रेश होल्ड एंड लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड लेवर आर वेरी इजी देन सिंपली चेंज द ओरिएटेशन ओरिएंटेशन एंड यू विल फाइंड वी अपर थ्रेश होल्ड लेवल वी यू टी एच दिस इज बिकॉज देर इज नो वी आर नो वी आर इट विल बिकम आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस वी सेट इंटू थर्टी एंड वी एल टी एच आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू माइनस थर्टी माइनस थर्टी एंड वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड अपर थ्रेश होल्ड एंड लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड शुड भी इक्वल टू वॉट फाइव एंड प्लस माइनस फाइव वोल्ट और आर वन वैल्यू इज गिवन यू हैव टू फाइंड आर टू वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन प्लस फाइव आर वन इट इज गिवन टेन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द आर टू टेल मी आर वन इज गिवन एज टेन तो इट विल बिकम फ्रॉम दिस थर्टीन आर टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ आर वन प्लस फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ आर टू देन दिस विल बिकम एट टाइम्स ऑफ आर टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ आर वन तो वॉट इज द आर टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई एट आर वन आर वन इज गिवन एज टेन किलो फाइव इंटू टेन अपॉन एट राइट फाइव इंटू टेन अपॉन एट दैट इज द वैल्यू बिकॉज आर वन इज गिवन एज टेन किलो तो फिफ्टी बाई एट तो वॉट यू हैव गिवन द वैल्यू एट बाई फाइव आर वन बाई आर टू ना सुनो तो वॉट इज दिस आर वन बाई आर टू इज इक्वल टू एट बाई फाइव हाई वी कैन से वॉट इज द आर टू फाइव बाई एट टाइम्स ऑफ आर वन यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू वेरी सिंपल रेशियो तो समटाइम्स वॉट दे विल दे विल गिव दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन क्विकली यू कैन फाइंड दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड सर्किट डिजाइन द सर्किट मीन्स इट इज नथिंग बट what is written here in a previous session one student asked what is the sir symmetry here so i have given now it is a bistable multi vibrator so it is written here bistable multi vibrator symmetry here circuit is actually a bistable multi vibrator because we are giving the input so in this way we can design the circuit so all the students is a easy question can we expect this type of questions so yes we have number of questions on this now second one watch this If the operational amplifier in the circuit has plus minus 10 volt output saturation level, this time plus V set and minus V set is plus minus 10 volt. Then what is given? Design the circuit to obtain the plus minus 5 volt threshold. Again, same. Give the suitable component values. This time R1 and R2 is not given. It's up to you. You can design the circuit. So now, uh, this is the diagram. This time, V not. is connected here input is not connected here input is connected to what non inverting terminal when the input is connected to non inverting terminal then what are the threshold level if the output level is plus minus 10 i have given you the standard answer for this an inverting terminal is connected to what zero inverting terminal is connected to what zero so but simply you have to find a non inverting terminal voltage in terms of vi and v not and we have to equate it to zero you will get the answer you will get the answer for this question we can design it using uh, to what is a uh, uh, yeah, what is given here the if the op amp in the circuit has plus minus 10 volt why you are designing the circuit to plus minus threshold voltage threshold voltage v u t h and v i t h is asked no uh, no need to limit the output uh surjit if in the question they will ask limit the output plus minus 5 volt then we have to use the jener diode back to back jener diode that is called clamping diodes here simply what is the threshold voltage so what are the threshold voltage here in this case threshold voltage means new students please watch this first of all find the voltage positive terminal voltage so you can apply the kcl at this point pre positive plus what vi upon r1 plus v positive uh, plus v not or v minus v not not plus kcl v positive minus vi upon r1 plus v positive minus v not upon r2 this is r1 that is r2 is equal to 0 now you can arrange this and you will find vp is equal to this vp is equal to r 
आर वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू इंटू बी आई ओके वंस यू विल गेट दीपी देन फॉर टू वैल्यूज ऑफ फॉर टू वैल्यूज ऑफ वी नॉट इक्वेटेड टू वॉट नॉन इन्वर्टिंग इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल दैट इज जीरो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द वी नॉट प्लस टेन you can equate it to zero and you can find the vi in terms of v not so vp equate to vn that is equal to zero then when i am equating so this will r1 upon r1 plus r2 into v not plus r2 upon r1 plus r2 into vi equate it to zero this denominator same the common denominator becomes zero what is the vi minus r1 upon r2 into v not माइनस आर वन अपॉन आर टू इंटू वी नॉट इन नेक्स्ट टाइम रिमेंबर दैट तो वी आई विल बिकम माइनस आर वन अपॉन आर टू माइनस आर वन अपॉन आर टू इंटू वी नॉट नाउ दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला आर वन अपॉन आर वन अपॉन आर टू नॉट आर वन प्लस आर टू आर वन अपॉन आर टू इंटू वी नॉट यू विल गेट नाउ वट आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ द वी नॉट वी है टू वैल्यूज प्लस टेन पुट द प्लस टेन so it will become what is the you have to design to so minus r1 by r2 is equal to what 10 then to minus 5 that is the lower threshold level similarly what is the upper threshold level r1 upon r2 into what 10 So when I am putting the v not is equal to plus ten, you will get the minus answer, and when we are putting the v not is equal to minus ten, you will get the plus answer. So this is the value, and equate it to what five. Now, simply from these two, we are getting the r one by r two is equal to what ratio five by ten, that is one by two. In objective, they will ask design the circuit. What is the meaning of that? they will provide you some minimum one value r1 or r2 just like a previous question or otherwise they will ask what is the ratio of r1 and r2 so what is the ratio of r1 by r2 that is equal to 1 by 2 or r2 by r1 that is equal to what 2 and you can design this circuit and this is called lower threshold and this is called what higher threshold level lower higher threshold both are given here and that is the question now everyone that is clear again remember this is a bistable multi vibrator or a semi trigger uh, where we have connected the input to what positive terminal this is the input is connected to what positive terminal okay tell me when uh, we uh, we will draw the transfer curve uh, between v not versus vi what about the hysteresis loop it is a anti clockwise rotation or clockwise rotation in this question tell me in previous session i have discussed if you have attended and you have idea anti clockwise or clockwise okay hmm so already have given a uh, in gate exam they will ask transfer curve on this so transfer curve if you want to draw always remember once you have the upper threshold and lower threshold level then simply number of questions on this topic upper threshold and lower threshold plus 5 minus 5 if the input is given to non inverting terminal this is the non inverting terminal when it is highly negative output is highly negative minus 10 so always remember you have to start from the negative value to positive value let like for example this is the input you can start from this highly negative output is negative and now this is the output when the input cross the upper threshold then output will change because when the input is negative we are getting the upper threshold level what is the upper threshold level 5 volt then when the input is highly positive output is positive that is the forward journey and when the input decreases now input decreases then 
it will cross lower threshold and that is the curve and that is called v naught versus vi this is a transfer curve v naught versus vi in transfer curve we are getting what hysteresis loop rachi your answer is correct anti clockwise direction that is the anti clockwise direction and what is the hysteresis voltage new students watch remember this is the hysteresis voltage here from this point to this point this is called vh vh is given by upper threshold minus lower threshold that is the 10 volt okay easy question so transfer curve hysteresis so again that is a standard question uh if you find any difficulty if you want to practice some more question then remember note the page number 1157 1157 that is a on crystal oscillator if you want to solve more question on that if you want to solve more question on cement trigger on transfer curve how to limit the output and this yes you can now next question so before is uh starting the next question uh we, you can give national level scholarship test guys okay if you are comfortable with us you want to start your preparation journey with us then this is a golden opportunity get up to 90% off on our program that is on 3rd of december 9 am to what 9 pm means coming sunday okay go for it and then second important thing important workshop by dhiraj sardana sir on 29th of november at 7:30 pm strategy to secure air under 100 in gate 2025 it is right time to start your preparation for gate 2025 agar aap plan kar rahe hain to zyada delay mat karo aur maine ek session bhi liya tha aap logo ke liye on gate 2025 to aap app par aaiye pura 15 months jo bhi aapke paas hai 14 to 15 months usme kaise program karna hai kaise start karna hai तो वहां आप ऐप पर बाइजूज एग्जाम पर ऐप इंस्टॉल कर लीजिए वहां फ्री सेशन अवेलेबल है पूरा प्लान कीजिए प्रॉपर और प्लानिंग के साथ स्टार्ट कर दीजिए प्रिपरेशन विद इन वन ईयर यू विल गेट द टॉप रैंक इन गेट एग्जाम अब आप सोचते प्लानिंग करने में ज्यादा टाइम वेस्ट मत कीजिए इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज देन ज्वाइन दिस वर्कशॉप धीरज सरदाना सर विल गिव द आंसर फॉर ऑल योर क्वेश्चन गाइज ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ नवंबर ओके एंड रजिस्टर फॉर दिस ऑल्सो but before install what by juice exam prep app from google play store then next one consider a bistable circuit with non inverting transfer characteristics and let l positive and l negative is 10 volt means again we are having limited voltage now it is l positive and l negative are you getting my point it is not a saturation voltage it is a limited voltage so when i am talking about the limited voltage then we are connecting what jena diode what is the upper threshold and lower threshold 5 volt if vi is a triangular wave with a zero volt average 10 volt peak amplitude and a 1 millisecond period sketch the waveform of the v not find the time interval between the zero crossing of vi and v not zero crossing of vi and u not are you getting this question students then consider a bistable circuit with non inverting transfer characteristics when we are giving input to non inverting terminal then watch this type of diagram they will in the gate exam they will give you the simple language don't worry about that because sometimes that will create confusion it is a book uh, book is language so okay now watch this जेना डायोड इज कनेक्टेड हियर सो दैट वी आर गेटिंग द लिमिटेड आउटपुट एट दिस पॉइंट हियर प्लस वी सेट माइनस वी सेट नो आइडिया नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस जेना डायोड वी आर हैविंग अ लिमिटेड आउटपुट दिस इज कनेक्टेड टू ग्राउंड Don't be confused with this. That is the diagram. This is already we have find the threshold voltage here R two and R one. So what are the threshold voltages? Minus R one by R two into V naught. Minus R one by R two into what V naught? But suppose I am changing the position of R one and R two. 
if I'm changing the position of R1 and R2, then it will become what R2 by R1. R2 by R1. This is R1, that is R2. So I have written this formula. This is the value, right? So Vp is equal to R1 upon R1 plus R2 into V0 R2. And that's why finally you have got the R1 upon R2. But when I'm changing the position, then it will become R2 upon R1. Remember this. Okay. And if suppose it is a silicon diode in a forward bias, if it has 0 0.7 volt, then what should be the rating of the Jenner diode breakdown voltage? In a forward bias, it has 0 0.7 volt. What should be the value of the VZ? So that we are getting the plus 10 volt and minus 10 volt. And both the diodes are identical. Give me the answer. Then we are using these diodes to limit the output because at this point we have no idea, but it may be what, for example, that it is a 15 volt. It is a minus 15 volt, but at this point we are getting plus 10 and minus 10. Minus 10. When it is 15 here, then it is plus 10. When it is minus 15, then minus 10. And when the diode is forward bias 0.7 volt, what should be the rating of the Jenner diode when it is breakdown? Okay, so that we are going to get the 10 volt here. Now, Threshold voltage, so what is given? Consider a bistable circuit with non-inverting transfer characteristics. Limited voltage are 10 volt. Threshold voltage are 5 volt plus, uh, plus 5 minus 5. If VI is a triangular wave with a zero average, 10 volt peak amplitude and 1 millisecond period. Okay. Hmm. Now, if you have the threshold voltage, then simply This is the triangular wave, 10 volt peak amplitude, this is 10, this is minus 10 because the average level is 0. That is the peak value is given, not the peak to peak value. So we are having this type of triangular wave. And so on. Okay. Now, what about the output? Output is here. Right. Now, what are the threshold level plus 5 and minus 5? So this is 0, this is 10, this is minus 10. When it will cross the plus 5 means this is the 5, there is a change in the output. When it will cross the minus 5, there is a change in the output. Okay. This is the plus 5 and minus 5. threshold level. For this diagram, already I have said, when the input is highly negative, what is the output? When the input is highly negative, output is positive. In one question, you will uh, you will be able to solve all type of question, guys, remember. When the input is highly negative, for example, minus 10, this is the threshold level plus minus 5, this is the threshold level minus 5, and so on. When it is highly negative, what is the output? plus 10, minus 10. When the input cross the upper threshold, then there is a change in the output from plus 10 to minus, uh, minus 10 to plus 10. When the input is highly positive, 10 volt, plus 10, this is the output. And when we are decreasing the input, this is called decreasing journey. Right, this is the anti clockwise direction. Means when input will cross the positive level, then there is a change in the output. So, here, if it is negative, first of all, it is highly negative. Watch this. If I want to draw, this is the input. I have to draw the output, and we have to find what is the main objective question. What is the main objective question here? Main objective question is here if the time period is 1 millisecond of the triangular wave. Sketch the waveform of V0, find the time interval between the zero crossing of VI and V0. Zero crossing of VI and zero crossing of what? V0. That is the question. So now, draw properly. So this is the uh, output. When this is the minus V set, minus 10, output is also minus V set. 
when it will cross the upper threshold when it will cross the upper threshold level this level then there is a change in the output then there is a change in the output okay so watch this minus v set change in the output okay during decreasing journey when it is highly positive watch this highly positive it is plus v set automatically but during decreasing journey when it will cross the lower threshold there is a change in the output at this point there is a change in the output guys okay now watch this during increasing journey when it is across the plus 5 there is a change in the output we are getting a perfect square wave triangular wave is converted into a square wave now since it is a triangular wave, symmetrical triangular wave, so what is this time period half? This is the rising time and this is the fall time. Both are equal. What is the time period of the triangular wave? 5 millisecond it is given in the question. Triangular wave, uh, find the time interval between that and uh, okay, average value 1 millisecond period. 1 millisecond period means time period is 1 millisecond. So it, what is this? 0 0.5 millisecond. Half is 0 0.5. 0.5 symmetrical triangular wave to so 0 0.5 0 0.5 millisecond time period is 1 millisecond so what is the rise time and fall time half of that rise time means this triangular will rise here it will fall so this is called rise time and fall time both are equal symmetrical triangular wave now at this point suppose it will cross 0 at this point Right after that, output will cross zero at this point. So, what is the difference here? Similarly, at this point, it will cross zero. And after that, it will cross. Can we find this value? Now, what is the duration? This we have to find the duration between when the input will cross the zero and when the output will cross the zero. So, what is the difference? This is the T you have to find. Tx you have to find when it will cross the 0, when it will cross the 0. Okay. How we can find? Tell me. Now, what is the slope of this line? We can find the slope of this line. The what is the change here from minus 10 to plus 10? What is the change? 20. And in how many times? 0.5 millisecond. What is the slope? Slope from this point to this point, what is the change? 20. 10 minus of minus 10, that is the 20, divided by what is the time duration? Half, 0.5. So, slope will become 40 divided by, uh, 20 divided by 0.5, it is a 40. 40 volt per millisecond. 40 volt per millisecond is the slope. Now, what is the change here? 5 only. This is the 0, this is the 5, and it will reach to 5, there is a change in the output. So, 5. So, how we can find the, so we have the slope is equal to change upon time. Now, this time what is the change of only 5 volt? Change is only of 5 volt. And what is the time? Tx. We have to find the Tx. So, what is the Tx here? 5 by slope. And what is the slope? 40. So, it will become that is volt volt cancel millisecond 1 by 8 millisecond 1 by 8 millisecond check what is the 1 by 8 millisecond 125 microsecond surjit yes we are getting the answer so question number question number 12.14 12.14 guys Yes, that is the answer. 125 microsecond. This is the answer. So, are you getting my point? That is a standard question from what is standard textbook. And yes, we can uh, expect this. Type. Okay. In the gate, they will not give you what this are. But they, they will give na, this question. Same line. But this is not the question. Sketch the output waveform. No problem. No need to sketch. They will not ask because it is objective question. Find the time interval between the zero crossing of VI and V0. Yes, it may be numerical answer type question. 
और इट मे बी वॉट एम सी क्यू इट मे बी न्यूमेरिकल आंसर और इट मे बी वॉट एम सी क्यू तो वन ट्वेंटी फाइव माइक्रो सेकेंड बिल्कुल सही दिस इज दंड यू हैव नॉट गिवन मी दी जेड वॉट इज दी जेड इफ इट इज पॉइंट सेवन तो रिमेंबर I am getting the fifteen or anything, fifteen or twenty at this point. But what is the output limited to ten volt? So simply, current will flow in this direction. So this diode is forward bias. This diode is breakdown. So already we have the zero point seven volt. So what is the breakdown voltage? Nine point three volt. Zero point seven plus nine point three. We are getting the ten volt. So what is the breakdown voltage? Nine point three volt here. Or similarly, in opposite direction, this is the forward bias that will break down. So again, we are getting the ten volt limited voltage. Okay, then. So we have to design this circuit, guys. We have to design. I think now it is clear to you. Now, next one. I just I want to give one assignment. Are you ready to solve some question? What is the question here? Okay. Consider an operational amplifier having a saturation level of plus minus twelve volt used without feedback. Plus minus twelve volt used without feedback. We are not giving any feedback, no positive, no negative feedback. And what is the several plus minus twelve with the inverting input terminal connected to three volt? Here diagram is not given. You have to design the circuit. Diagram is not given. No problem. And twelve uh, plus minus twelve volt supply. Without inverting input terminal connected to three volt. And a non-inverting input terminal connected to VI. Non-inverting terminal directly connected to VI. Okay. Characterize its operation as comparator, guys. So, what is the reference level? Three volt. What are the L positive, L negative, and VR as defined in Figure twelve point three three A? What is the twelve point three three A? In a twelve point three three A. Hmm, that question, that diagram is not matched actually because the general diode is not connected here. So uh, upper level and lower level is what plus twelve and minus twelve. If it is not general diode and anything anything is not connected here, so limited voltage. Okay, plus twelve and minus twelve level is what limited levels are plus twelve and minus twelve plus V set and minus V set. Three volt crossing detector. Yes, we can say three volt crossing detector. So you can solve. Uh, just I uh, I can say fine duty cycle here. Already I have solved in my previous session. Find the duty cycle of the output. T on upon T on plus T off. Simple question. T on upon T on plus T off duty cycle for this. And you can consider if you want to find the duty cycle. And as a comparator, then let V I is equal to ten uh, sine of omega t volt. चलो तो और इजी कर लेते हैं नाइन वोल्ट एंड देन फाइंड द ड्यूटी साइकिल एंड दैट इज होमवर्क फॉर यू सर बट वी आई विच टाइप ऑफ यस आई एम गिविंग ना वी आई इज इक्वल टू Ten nine sine of omega t because without without input it is difficult to find what uh, duty cycle. So yes, I have given nine sine of omega t. That is easy question. Now already we have solved this type of questions. Now I think this is clear to you. Now guys, this is given another one. What is the another question for the circuit in figure? Let the operational amplifier saturation voltage be plus minus ten volt. R1 is 100 kilo ohm, R2 and R is equal to 1 mega ohm. C is equal to find the frequency of oscillation. What is the 12.36 B? It is given. 12.36 B. 12.36 B. Okay, it is nothing but what? A stable multivibrator and R1 and R2. Where the R1 and R2 is given? That is very very important one. This is the circuit. R1 and R2. So what is given here? R1 and R2. This is the C. Then what is the value of the R one hundred kilo? 
and what is the value of the r2 1 mega ohm 1 mega ohm and it and what is this 1 mega ohm it is also 1 mega ohm and what is the value of the c 0 0.01 microfarad now if that is given very very easy already i have derived this then but we are familiar with this diagram this is a stable multi vibrator generator oscillator it is a so what is the value it is given 1 mega ohm and this is the c 0 0.01 microfarad and that is what r2 1 mega ohm just i am giving you the value 1 mega ohm and that is what 100 kilo ohm. 100 kilo ohm means what 0 0.1 mega ohm 0 0.1 mega ohm and that is nothing but a stable multi vibrator so what is the formula here a stable multi vibrator yes now what is the formula here the time period is given by two times of rc this r and c log of one plus two times of this resistance upon that resistance am i correct this upon that so it will become 0 0.1 upon what one because it is in mega 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 cancel and that will become 1.2 1.2 so this will become 2rc log of 1.2 2rc log of 1.2 find the value t will become 2rc log of 1.2 we will check our answer r what is the r here 1 mega ohm 10 to the power 6 into c mega is cancelled by farad 0 0.01 microfarad 10 raised to the power minus 6 log of 1.2 then this is cancel out and then it will become 0 0.01 log of 1.2 what is the log of 1.2 calculate 0 0.182 into this is the time period actually we have to find the frequency of oscillation the reciprocal of this is it correct check check my calculation and that is the question number 12.17 274 something na? yes we are reading the two seven answer is given as 274 hertz 274.24 okay surjit so that is the answer means uh, uh be careful about that be careful about that guys because when we are writing log or something to so remember this formula where which resistance because they have changed the subscript r1 and r2 normally in the theory we are using r2 here r1 here but they have changed so when the name is changed but what is the ratio lower value upon upper value one plus this lower value upon up, two times of lower value upon upper value otherwise you will make a silly mistake here silly mistake means simply two number gone and that is the value okay so yes two rc log of one but again the time period is not required time period is not required frequency is required means from this circuit you can get the square wave of this frequency from lower frequency to up to what megahertz to megahertz frequency okay so that is the case there is a square wave now i think that is also clear it should be 2 rc log of 1 minus beta upon what 1 plus beta raju ha huh? so what is the beta then what is the beta then r1 upon r1 that is the beta if you are saying that beta okay no problem uh, this is another formula just i am giving you one minute one minute if suppose you want to use the beta formula then okay we have directly using after uh, dividing the beta we are getting this answer so 
तो वॉट इज द आंसर टी इज इक्वल टू टू आर सी लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस बीटा अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा यस वन प्लस बीटा अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा एंड यू आर गिविंग यस वन प्लस बीटा अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा यस यस नॉट वन माइनस बीटा अपॉन वन प्लस बीटा वाई बिकॉज सपोज यू आर गेटिंग द वैल्यू लेस देन वन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ लॉग इज इट क्लियर राजीव इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ लॉग बिकॉज इफ इट इज लेस देन वन सो इट इज द वन प्लस बीटा अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा एंड वॉट इज द बीटा हियर दिस वैल्यू अपॉन दिस प्लस दिस आर वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू आर वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू तो वॉट इज आर वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू जीरो पॉइंट वन अपॉन वन पॉइंट वन दैट इज वन बाई इलेवन तो यू विल गट वन प्लस बीटा अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस वन बाई इलेवन अपॉन वन माइनस वन बाई इलेवन दिस विल बिकम ट्वेल्व एंड दिस विल बिकम टेन अगेन यू विल गेट दन पॉइंट टू तो वॉट इज द टाइम पीरियड टू आर सी लॉग ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू सेम आंसर ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट टू आर सी लॉग ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू यस राजीव यू आर आस्किंग अबाउट दिस दैट इज द फॉर्मूला एक्चुअली वे आर बीटा इज दिस रेजिस्टेंस अपॉन दिस प्लस दैट इट विल बिकम वन बाई इलेवन एंड दैट इज द वैल्यू Again, you will find the same value and find the reciprocal of that log of one point two here. Okay. Now this question is also important for what ISRO exam coming on seventeenth of December. But uh, they will uh, they will give you the value of what log of one point two. Don't worry about that. If suppose there is a log and something else, they will provide you the value log of one by two if the calculator is not allowed. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. We are getting the same. Now. now this is a question on what for the mono stable circuit mono stable circuit find the value of r3 find the value of r3 that will result in 100 microsecond output pulse 100 microsecond output pulse for c1 is equal to 0.1 microfarad beta now your beta is here okay vd is equal to 0.7 volt अपर लेवल एंड लोअर लेवल आर वॉट प्लस माइनस ट्वेल्व वोल्ट आउटपुट इज अपर लेवल एंड लोअर लेवल इज प्लस माइनस ट्वेल्व वोल्ट लिमिटेड लेवल तो इट इज वॉट इज द सर्किट हियर वॉच दिस आउटपुट हैज द अपर लेवल प्लस ट्वेल्व एंड माइनस ट्वेल्व ओके नाउ एज दिस इज अ मोनो स्टेबल मल्टीवाइब्रेटर दिस सर्किट इज गिवन टू अप्लाई द ट्रिगर हियर दिस सर्किट इज गिवन टू अप्लाई द ट्रिगर हियर बट इन नॉर्मल ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर टू फोकस ऑन दिस simply focus on this you can change the orientation of this diagram when i am changing the orientation of this diagram it is just like a, a stable multi vibrator but we are having a diode connected parallel to what t focus on this this r 3 c1 this is the timing element one diode is connected parallel to that this is c1 diode is connected parallel to that and here r2 and r1 this portion is connected to apply the trigger for proper triggering we are using this concept then what is the uh, feedback here r2 and r1 Now, simply it is a stable multi vibrator. Only we have connected what diode here. So this is a mono stable multi vibrator. Normally we are getting question from a stable multi vibrator, but that is in syllabus, so they can ask question on this. So R one and R two. So what is the beta here? R one upon R one plus R two. R one upon R one plus R two. That beta. So what is the value of the beta here? It is point one. Point one. Can you find the value ratio of R one and R two from this? So point one means one by ten, so it will become one by ten. So what is this? Ten R one. Ten R one is equal to R one plus R two. 
so you will get 9 r1 is equal to what r2 9 r1 is equal to r2 r2 okay from this you can solve if the beta is given 0.1 it will become 1 by 10 and then 10 is applied here and 1 r1 plus r2 and 9 r1 is equal to r2 then uh, what is the pulse width for this diagram the standard pulse width for this diagram by stable multiplier the same diagram where i have changed the orientation here so that pulse width is given by tp r3 c1 always remember this is the r3 this register r3 c1 log of log of 1 plus lower resistance what is the lower resistance here r1 upon r2 so r1 is equal to 9 times of r2 r1 is equal to 9 times of r2 we have proved 9 times uh, r1 uh, sorry r1 is equal to r2 by 9 or r2 is equal to 9 times of r1 9 times of r1 then r3 c1 log of 1 plus r1 upon 9 times of r1 that is r1 r1 cancel and 1 uh, 1 plus 9 right that is the 10 by 9 you will get so yes what is the pulse width it is given in the question uh, pulse width required is what uh, result in 100 microsecond output pulse then that is the value and this is the VD. okay tell me how we can find the values right and this answer is for what this answer is for ideal diodes not for practical diodes but in this question what is asked practical diode guys what is asked here practical diode means capacitor should charge up to what 0.7 volt first of all find the ideal value then give me the answer then i will uh, give the derivation for that what is the ideal value tell me r3 c1 so one minute i'm going to put here so that this is the value c1 is 0.1 microfarad and it is 100 microsecond Point 0.1 microfarad you have to find the value one by nine that is the ten by nine from this you can find the value of r3 this cancel out because of that point one it will become thousand upon log of ten by nine okay tell me what is the answer Nine point four nine into thousand ohm is nine point four nine kilo ohm. Nine point four nine kilo ohm, guys. Okay. Then that is the question number twelve point two zero. Another question number twelve point two zero. Now, this is the value we are getting. okay but yes if the diode is not ideal means what this is the i am when i am giving you the standard answer so that is the standard answer r1 and r2 we are finding the value of r1 and r2 lower resistance upon upper resistance so the lower one that is the upper one and this is the nine times of r1 and we are finding nine plus one that is the ten okay upon 10 by 9 it is also correct and then we are finding the value please check my calculator it is correct first of all give me this it is is it correct 9.49 kilo ohm but now we want to solve then we have to derive it just i am giving you the hint then what will happen if suppose it is a 0.7 volt then what happened when we are giving the trigger here
the output will switch from plus V set to what minus V set. Remember, when the output is switched from plus 12 to minus 12, just we are giving the trigger here. In this diagram, initially the output is plus 12. How we can say it is a plus 12? Because of plus 12, the diode is on and circuit is under uh, steady state. Now, already, already, what is the voltage across the capacitor? Already, the voltage across the capacitor uh, diode was what? 0 0.7 volt. Because it is on. When it is on, the, what is the voltage across the capacitor? 0 0.7 volt. Initial voltage across the capacitor was 0 0.7 volt. Suddenly, when we are giving the signal, the output will switch from plus 12 to minus 12. And at this point, the threshold voltage will become Vt. That is, we can find R1 upon R1 plus R2. R1 upon R1 plus R2 into what minus 12. This is called the new value of the Vt. And already we have find R1 by R2 and beta. What is the beta? It is given 0 0.1 into minus 12. And that's why what is the threshold voltage? Minus 1.2 volt. Just I am giving you the minus 1.2 volt. That is the value. Watch this diagram. Beta is given in the question 0.1 R1 upon R1 plus R2 0.1. So I am using this value minus 1.2. That is the threshold level. Now we have to draw the waveform here. We want to draw the we have to draw the waveform means when we are giving the trigger. The voltage will switch from plus V set to minus V set. That is the plus by plus 12 to minus 12. Now diode is off. The initial voltage across the capacitor is 0 0.7. Now the capacitor will charge capacitor will have to discharge when we are it is going towards the negative value we are saying that it is charging it should cross the lower threshold level 1.2 volt and that is start charging when it will reach toward lower threshold level that is minus 1.2 volt and it will discharge towards what minus 12 volt so what is the time taken by the capacitor to discharge from 0 0.7 to what minus 1.2 volt and that is called what tp once it will cross this, it will switch to upper plus 12. And we want only pulse width. We want only pulse width TP. Okay. Now, so what, what is the 0 0.72 minus 1.2? That is the correct one. Now, what is the time TP? So, how we can write? First of all, we have to write the equation. Vc is equal to what? V final minus V final minus V initial e raised to power minus T by tau. So what is the final value? Minus 12. What is the final value? Minus 12. What is the initial value? 0 0.7. Initial value is 0 0.7. E raised to power minus T by R1 C, R1, R3 C. That is the value R3 C1. Time constant. Now you will get the equation. Minus 12 minus minus plus 12.07. E raised to power 12.7. Not 12.07. 12.7. E raised to power minus T by R3 C1. That is the voltage across the capacitor. At T equal to Tp. If you are going to start from this. So, this is the Tp. So, at T equal to Tp, that will become what? Uh, 1.2 volt. Minus 1.2 volt. Put here minus 1.2 volt. Minus 1.2 is equal to minus 12 plus 12.7. E raised to power. Here you have to put the Tp upon R3 C. R3 C1. Then this is the minus minus, it will become plus. Find the value here. Quickly find the value. Minus 1.2 plus 12 is equal to 12.7. The divided by 12.7 e raised to power minus Tp by R3 C. So, what is the e raised to power Tp by R3 C1? It will become 12.7 upon 10.8. 10.8 here. And then you can take the log. Tp is equal to R3C1 log of 12.7 upon 
टेन पॉइंट एट यू हैव टू फाइंड वॉट आर थ्री ऑनली एंड टीपी इज गिवन एज हंड्रेड माइक्रो सेकेंड हंड्रेड इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस सिक्स तो वॉट इज द आर थ्री विल बिकम नाउ वी आर गेट द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन डेज टू पावर माइनस सिक्स माइक्रो सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बाई सी वन लॉग ऑफ ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन अपॉन टेन पॉइंट एट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द सी वन इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन वैल्यू ऑफ द सी वन इज गिवन पॉइंट वन माइक्रो फेराड पॉइंट वन माइक्रो फेराड The C one is given as point one microfarad. It will become hundred into ten raised to power minus six upon point one into ten raised to power minus six into log of twelve point seven upon ten point eight. Find this value. What is the value of the R three under practical condition? Not the time time period. Ten to the power six. Ten to the power six cancel. Thousand log of that. 12.7 divided by 10.8 log of this reciprocal of this into thousand 6.1 बिल्कुल सही आंसर है ये 6.17 into 10 raised to power 3 ohm और व्हाट इस डी आंसर 6171 ohm it is given so we are getting the correct answer because answer given in the book is what 617 unsolved numerical from milman helkes uh, sorry sadran smith guys and what is the answer given here answer given is 6171 ohm now it is clear everyone to so suppose this type of question if in exam hall they will give if you are there considering the practical diode if you are not familiar with the derivation then it is not possible to solve this type of questions So what is the derivation here? Very simple. When we are giving the trigger, the output will switch from plus twelve to minus twelve. But what is the initial voltage across the capacitor? Point seven volt. Now the capacitor will start discharging from point seven volt up to what threshold level? When there is a when it will cross the threshold level, output will switch from minus twelve to what plus twelve. Okay. Answer is six one seven one. Go through this solution again and again two times, and that is the question. Now. Now time is over, guys. So before ending the, before giving the homework, uh, I want to inform you that you can attempt mega mock test. The date is what twenty fifth November to first December. Attempt now. First of all, install Byzu's exam prep app, and that is the schedule. You can also download the schedule from uh, app Byzu's exam prep app, and give the test sixty five question, hundred marks, one eighty minutes, just exam like condition, and that is time to give the mock test. and this is the homework for you mono stable multi vibrator right same 10 nano farad capacitor find the value of r that is output of that okay this is the circuit means it is a mono stable multi vibrator by using the triple 5 timer guys by using the triple 5 timer try to solve this question standard answer you can use and one tomorrow i am solve Questions on what diode circuit? Where uh, I will solve precision rectifier. That is the precision rectifier, and this is the question from Sadran Smith. Similar type of question in gate examination means we are getting question from standard textbook. Find the transfer characteristics for the circuit in the figure. That is nothing but precision rectifier. We are using the two diodes D1 and D2, and we uh, we can if nothing is given, we can assume what ideal diodes. Silicon, germanium not mentioned. Drop across the diode is not mentioned. Then you can assume the ideal diode. Draw the transfer characteristics of this. Tomorrow I will give the answer sharp at 5 p.m. Okay, that is the diode circuit. And if you are giving the mock test, you will get the leaderboard, number of participant, what is your rank, what is your marks, everything here. But first of all, install Byju's exam prep app. And guys, if you want to start your journey with us, पहले तो confidence आना चाहिए ना. कि अच्छे से आपकी पढ़ाई हो रही है यहाँ पर इतने शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन में आपको क्वेश्चन का लेवल समझ आ रहा है तो यू कैन स्टार्ट योर जर्नी इफ यू वांट टू ज्वाइन द क्रैश कोर्स देन दैट इज द कोर्स फॉर यू यू कैन कॉल एट दिस नंबर और इफ यू वांट टू स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी लाइव क्लासेज रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर स्टडी मटीरियल प्रैक्टिस क्विजेज मॉक टेस्ट एंड हाईली क्वालिफाइड एंड एक्सपीरियंस फैकल्टी मेंबर्स आर हियर यू कैन स्टार्ट योर जर्नी This is my Telegram channel, Electronics by Sanjay Rathi. I will upload the PDF on this Telegram channel just after my session. Okay.
ओके डन थैंक यू ओके आज मैंने जो डिस्कस किया है ना क्वेश्चन उसको थोड़ा सा आप बना लीजिए and we are having this type of questions in chapter 12 you can also go through it but try to solve selected numericals no need to solve all the questions as related and relevant questions that's why uh, we are here to provide you some relevant and related questions okay then thank you have a nice day